Well, hello there, welcome to Nantwich Elim Church. So very glad you could join us online. Whether you're a regular or you're here for the first time, we're so glad to be with you this morning. We're hoping that you'll enjoy the service. We have some singing, some prayers, a message from our puppets about Jesus being the light of the world. Yes, this is our Chris Dingle Sunday and we're going to be having our Chris Dingle service here online. But also if you're around the area and it's still Sunday the 20th at 5 p.m at the chapel in our grounds at 129 London Road and Nantwich we will be having a service a Chris Dingle service where people can meet and gather outside together the fire pits will be raging it will be warm and it will be dry and we'll have a great time together we will be remembering the hand space and space guidance and keeping everyone safe as well but if you can't come great Stay online with us here. We have some singing, we have some praying, and we have a message from our puppets. So right now, let's uh, join together and sing a song and worship Jesus, who is the light of our world. news yesterday David and Laura got hitched got married a small intimate service but it was truly wonderful <laughs> Laura was beautiful David looked handsome and they really came before each other earnestly seeking God's blessing for their marriage so they are now married they are now married so keep them in prayer keep praying God's blessing on them and rejoice with that wonderful couple Another thing to rejoice about is we have two new children coming into our community. They're being adopted by a couple in our church. And I just ask you to keep praying blessing upon them and praying that the Holy Spirit would minister to all of their hearts to bring them together as a truly loving, healthy family. 
it looks all set, the way the visits are going and the meetings online, everything looks set for this family um, to be together early in January. So keep your praying up and let's rejoice together at what's going on there. There's real healing and real blessing going on for those people and all those concerned with um, welcoming these boys. And um, don't forget, don't forget Christmas Eve if you're around 5pm, we've got our carol service um, outside again. So we will be outside with the fire pit, singing carols and really enjoying um, being together. Carols by candlelight will be fantastic. And Christmas Day, um, you can meet with us um, either online or in person in the chapel. There'll be a service that you can book into. So if you're on the email list, you'll get the details and you can simply book in to that service or you can just catch us online. So um, that's the church news this week. Stay with us, keep in touch. If you want to be on the email list, well, just drop us uh, an email to prayer at Namwich Elim Church uh, org and ask us to go on the mailing list. I'm here with Pastor MC and I'm glad to say that uh, his wife, Kyung Seal, is back in the UK. She's come back from South Korea where she's been on mission. It's been a hard year for you, MC. Oh, yes, indeed. You've missed your wife oh. eight, nine months since yes, she's yes, been away. Yes. She's working in a school and doing something that's really essential in South Korea. Uh, right now. So it is difficult for her to come back and stay permanently. So church, she's only going to be with us three weeks. Mm. So do get in contact with her, text her, give her a call while she's here in the UK and encourage her. And um, she's going to continue her mission. And it's difficult, of course, Pastor MC, you're not quite sure when you can next travel easily to go see her. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But God's, God's getting you both through. You're both Doing well. Yes, doing well. however the situation God is good, so we trust God uh, wholeheartedly. Yes, well, I remember Pastor Michelle, once you, a couple of years ago, one word you, you taught us is wholeheartedly. Yes, That is yeah. the key, mm -hmm. wholeheartedly, not partial, wholeheartedly, mm -hmm. so I'm learning about it. wholeheartedly. Yeah, sometimes yes. shaking, but yes, wholeheartedly. Yeah, well, that's an encouraging word for us this morning to remember to wholeheartedly believe that Jesus is the light of the world Amen. and to hold on to the hope that we have in him. And as uh, we we continue our service, I'm going to ask Pastor MC to pray our gathering prayer this morning. Yes, yes, let us pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we gather before you as your children boldly and confidently because of all Jesus has done for us through his life, death and the resurrection. We also come uh, reverently knowing we have sinned against you and those we share you, your creation with. We have sinned in thought, word and deed through our uh, vulnerabilities and weakness, sometimes with uh, intention and sometimes without. We know that you are the God who sees. You are the God who hears and you are the God who forgives the repentant. As we come into your presence this morning, we ask that you forgive us and as the Psalms says, give us clean hands and a pure heart. Through your Holy Spirit, and for the sake of our Savior, Healer, Baptizer, and the coming King Jesus, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may be 
renewed to worship you in spirit and truth and serve your purpose upon this earth. May the glory be yours. Amen. Amen. And I think we should pray this morning for those who are coming together after a time apart to celebrate Christmas. Um, so let's pray right now, Pastor MC. I'm going to pray for you and yes. young Seal. Um, but I'll also remember as well those who can't be with their loved ones. Yes. So Father, we thank you this morning that you're bringing... Um, MC and his family together again with Kyung Sil um, with them here in the UK. Father, we pray that they have a blessed time and we're reminded by their situation that there will be many who are coming together this Christmas after a long time apart. People who won't have seen people or been in the same household together to gather. So Father, we just pray as we come together this Christmas, whether we're online or whether we're in person, uh, in newly formed bubbles just for this Christmas season. We pray, Lord God, that our time together would be good, it would be safe, that people would be protected from the virus, but also would just enjoy um, being together. Father, we pray that um, as we're together, Lord, your love and your light will shine through. Fill our hearts with goodness towards one another, hope and confidence that we will come through this season. And Father, for those who have chosen to be on their own or for those that are on their own regardless, Lord God, we pray, Lord, that they know the comfort of your Holy Spirit and people checking in on them by the phone or through social media. Father God, we thank you and praise you that you are the God that comforts us. You are the God who counsels us. So counsel us, comfort us, Lord God, in this season. And Lord, restore in our hearts hope and love. In Jesus' name, Amen. See him lying on a bed of straw, a drafty stable with an open door. Mary cradled in the bed she bore, the Prince of Glory is his name. Oh, now carry me to was a stable man, the Prince of Glory when he came. Star is silver, sweet across the sky, show where Jesus in the manger lies. Shepherd swiftly from your stoop arise to see the Savior of the world. Oh, now carry me to Bethlehem to see read from John um, chapter 1 verses 1 to 5 this morning. In the beginning the word already existed. He was with God and he was God. He was in the beginning with God. He created everything there is. Nothing exists that he didn't make. Life itself was in him and this life gives light to everyone. The light shines through the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. Well, I don't know how you're feeling. I'm sure you've had your ups and downs these last couple of months, but I hope you're looking forward to Christmas. And whatever Christmas holds for you, whether it is time with a family, 
um, perhaps you're extending your bubble or perhaps you've decided just to keep safe and well and stay home alone. Um, however you are, remember Jesus, Jesus is your guiding light in this season. You know, I've been touched over these months, you know, we're not able to love normally. I miss incredibly giving hugs to people and being hugged. But uh, my heart is warmed when I see people do incredible things and go to incredible lengths to let their loved ones know that they're loved. You know, when I'm out walking my dog, I pass a, a care home and, and on a number of occasions over the last couple of months, I've noticed this particular window and at this window, I've noticed family members sitting outside all wrapped up with waterproofs and scarves and woolly hats. One even in a wheelchair, sitting outside of the window, communicating with the person inside. I was only out the other night again and I saw another person, presumably a family member, um, standing at the window with a phone, communicating with the person. And uh, I... You know, I can't imagine what it feels like for that person who's in that home to be cut off from their loved ones. I can't imagine how good it feels when they see their loved one pop up at the window and make such an effort to stand in the cold for quite some time, it seems, um, to communicate and be with their loved one. That's a wonderful thing. And if we look around, we see all sorts of wonderful signs of love and life going on in our community. We've seen a wedding this weekend and we see lots of other things that just remind us that however um, difficult this season is, However difficult the social distancing is, it is possible to keep connecting with one another. So I want to encourage you today, pick up the phone to someone, drop someone a text, encourage someone. Let them know that you love them and that the light of Christ is still shining.
What? What? It's Christmas this week. Yeah! Ho! Exciting! I know. And do you know what today is? Sunday. <laughs> well, yeah. But it's not just any Sunday. We're at a Chris Dingle service. Chris Dingle? Chris Dingle. It started a long, long time ago. What? Like last year? <laughs> no. Like 300 years ago? Well, to be honest, last year feels like 300 years ago. <laughs> but that's so cool. But what is it? Well, I'll show you. I've got my good friend Pastor Michelle to help me out. Hi, good friend Pastor Michelle. So, Hi, you want to start with an orange. Wow, that's one big orange, good friend, Pastor Michelle. <laughs> well, they actually spray painted a melon so that the oldies at the back could see it. <laughs> so you want to start with an orange, which represents the world, because it's round like the world. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, so then you put a candle on the top. A candle? Yeah. It's meant to represent God's light in the world. Because the world can be a pretty dark place at times. The people living in darkness have seen a great light. And we believe that Jesus is the light of the world. So, Pastor Michelle, please would you light the candle? reminds me of a scripture. In John 1 verse 5 it says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Great scripture because in times of darkness we all need God's light and love to give us hope and to help us through. So then you get a red ribbon and tie it around the orange. Oh, I think I know this one. Is that to show Jesus' blood? That's exactly it. The red ribbon shows Jesus' blood is all around the world. And it's to remind us that the blood of, G of Jesus when he died for us. Yeah, because that's the whole reason Jesus came to earth. To show his light and love and to die on the cross so that we might be forgiven no matter what we have done. So what's the white ribbon for? Well that's to show Jesus' purity and righteousness. You see even though he died on the cross. Yeah like a criminal. Exactly. He actually never did anything wrong in his life but he took the punishment we deserved. Wow! So then, we have four sticks that we stick into the world, to the orange, facing all different directions. You see, this is to symbolize the north, south, east and west, but also the four seasons. So, what's all that stuff on the end of the sticks? Well, they show the fruits of the earth, like all great things we get from the earth that God created, which is nurtured by sunshine and rain. Like that scripture says in James, all good and perfect gifts is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. Exactly. And these are all such great things to remember as we prepare our hearts for Christmas Day. Yeah, that God made the earth, that Jesus is the light of the world and it can't ever be put out, bringing hope to everyone. Yeah, and then it causes us to remember the reason for the season, that Jesus came as a baby and lived a perfect and blameless life, but still died for our mistakes. He took our punishment because of his love for us. And then it reminds us that God provides for us each and every day to continually show that 
love as all good gifts from him. So, that's what Chris Dingle's all about. Reminding us of what an amazing, loving and good God we have who came to be amongst us here on earth. Emmanuel, Emmanuel God with us. Jesse and Elsie, I loved your Chris Dingle message. Did you enjoy the Chris Dingle message? What was your favourite part? My favourite part was the bit where we stuck sweets in the orange because I love sweets. I was going to say the sweets too. <laughs> but also, I love the bit where you lit the candle. Yes, that was my favourite bit too. Why is that, Pastor Michelle? I love to think about Jesus. I love to think about him lighting up my heart with his love and his light. Now, Pastor MC is here with us as well. And Pastor MC was helping us by sticking in the fruits and sweets around the Chris Dingle. Hi, Pastor MC. Thank you very much for helping us. Thank you, Jesse. How about we finish by asking Pastor MC to pray? Mm. Okay. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for oh, Jesus Christ, your Son. He saved us, and through him we have salvation. So Lord, this Christmas, we want to see the light, and we want to share the light to people. So Lord, bless all of us, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm sure hoping that um, Jesus is going to light up our hearts at this evening's Chris Dingle service at 5 o'clock outside the chapel. So be there if you can. If not, enjoy this service. God bless. We bless this church with the blessings of God so that it becomes the church the Lord Jesus has called it to be. We bless this church with an increase in knowing the presence of God. We bless this church with release and renewal in the Holy Spirit. We bless this church with a newfound love and liberty in Jesus Christ. We bless this church with God's protection. We bless this church with a new power to share the good news in our community. We bless this church in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our Chris Dingle service today and that you'll join us again, either perhaps Christmas Eve for our carol service or Christmas Day online or in the chapel um, or in the months ahead. If you need prayer, please do contact us. The email is prayer at nantwichelinchurch.org. We'd love to hear from you. If you email us, let us know what's going on for you. We'll be happy to pray and keep in touch. But be blessed in this Christmas season, whatever's going on for you, know that you're not alone. And be blessed, be blessed. Receive God's love, his light, and be blessed this Christmas. Hope to see you again.